hi guys welcome back to my channel once again i know it's been too long i didn't upload any video now here i am with a new video on proxy chains how to install and configure the proxy chain in kali linux machine and to do that before uh, let's discuss about why we need proxy chain and what is proxy chain so in previous videos you have uh, gone through some uh, account take takeover attacks using burp suit so i have performed that attacks uh, without using any proxy chain or vpn something like that to hide myself on the internet or to hide my identity on the internet so in such situation i can easily get caught so to prevent that we need to hide ourselves on the internet to perform any kind of attacks to perform any uh, hacking on the internet we need to configure something in your kali linux machine which is called a uh, proxy proxy chain so let's get started with the tutorial part before installing proxy chain uh, we need to install tor so let's see that uh, tor is existing in our system or not to check that we need to type the command now service service tor status so as you can oh i'm writing a wrong command uh let's Surface tor status. As you can see, that the tor is installed, but it is currently inactive. So um, we'll activate it later, and let's see that uh, we uh, have proxy chain or not. Okay, to check uh, proxy chain, you need to go into your file hierarchy and file system etc and check that uh, there is a file called proxy change.cns is existing or not in my case uh, here is the file it means that proxy chain is installed let's edit this file so to edit this file i am going to use nano you can use uh, any editor you like I'm using nano so nano etc proxy chains dot cnf so here we have this file as you can see so we have three methods uh, here by which you can run proxy chains uh, it is dynamic chain strict chain and random chain so the uh, strict chain is the default option uh, it comes with proxy chain every connection goes through the proxies in order that is listed in the configuration file a strict chaining is best used when you want uh, the source traffic appear for a particular location and in a dynamic chain uh, it works like a strict chain but it does not require all the proxies in the configuration file to work it uh, is a proxy is down then the connection will jump to the next proxy server in the list so uh, this is a bash programming uh, this hash you can see before the line which is uh, which we call the comment to activate the uh, mode you have to just remove the hash from so here we are going to use dynamic chain so we remove the hash from before the dynamic so we are going to remove the hash before the dynamic chain come down and you will see there is a line line and you will see there is a line socks for 127.0.0.1 actually it's a tor actually it's a tor server the data will go through tor server so Sox 4 is the older version of Sox 5. So we are going to use Sox 5 now. Write the same IP because we are going to we are going to use 
tor server so then the update of uh, flow through the tor proxy after adding this line press control o and hit enter and then come out of this window so we have successfully had this added this file now you can check it by typing okay before that we need to install uh, we need to start the tor server as well to start the tor server you need to write the command service tor restart type the password so now we have tor server running uh, we can see the status it is active right now so uh, now let's uh, run the proxy chain to run proxy chain you have to type the command proxy chains use the browser use the browser you like i'm going to use firefox and the website name let's say it is duck duckgo.com now here uh, you can see the proxy chain is starting I'll just wait for a few minutes see the browser uh, uh, browser has been open right now now every data is going through this browser is uh, through tor server uh, and we are successfully uh, anonymized on the internet let's see uh, see our ip on the internet let's see what is the location it will take some time because uh, the packet is going through a number of uh, nodes which are linked together and we call it chain proxy chain as you can see that uh, here uh, i can see this is a different ip address other than my original one and it is coming from germany so we have successfully changed our location we can perform any attack any hack hacking skill on the internet and you will not even reveal your location so that's it guys this is all i want to show you if any error is occurring during in this process please revert me in the comment section and please like uh, share and subscribe my channel to see the further videos regarding ethical hacking and please mention in the comment box that uh, what should be my next uh, topic thank you so much